Hi everybody, welcome to this Pro Division qualifying round playthrough with tournament win for the Thanksgiving tournament here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. Please give me a thumb up if you wouldn't mind and make sure you're a subscriber. It's totally free and if it's your first time viewing the channel, a very warm welcome. Loads of stuff on the channel homepage to help you improve your gameplay. Plenty of drops here for references, adjustments on screen and in the commentary as well for all nine holes tournament wind. Leave me a comment, let me know how you're getting on. There's some nice mix of holes here, some classic courses as well, so I hope you do well. Let's get started with hole number one. Teeing off on hole number one with the extra mile and a katana ball. Top of plus nine with extra mile level eight uh, will be at max with extra mile six or seven. Add spin as shown and have the ball guide pointing towards that small red yardage marker up in the distance. Then we are going to adjust maximum distance 10%. Elevation max plus 10 on this one. Almost level crosswind. Make our adjustment then I would suggest as I go in the video here to go with a, a few clicks of overpower just before the shot circle drops down because then if you have more of a cross or slight tailwind angle you won't be short as you can see we just land a ring over the edge of the fairway there so we're fine. Drive distance is here going to be around 345 to 350 yards. Second shot we're going to play with the thorn FC on the notepad means fringe check. So move the target over the pin with the bull guide and the bullseye directly over where the fringe meets the green. And we've got plus two. And I'm going to play this one 38% slider. Now we're going to add spin around a half, one and a half bars back spin and a one and a half to two bars of left spin. But add spin and then find the funnel. Here you'll see I'll move left and right and the ball guide is still saying uh, staying where it is in the cup. I'm favouring just the left side of pin ever so slightly. You might need to re-spin here or tweak the amount of uh, side spin according to where you end up on the drive. But make sure you're in that funnel. Plus two fringe check, 38% slider, 10% elevation, pull it over the bullseye. Um, for every plus yard different, it is 2% on the slider. So if you're plus four on the fringe check, it means you're further away. So you play 42% slider instead. But we catch the funnel very nicely and we're dropping it there for the eagle on hole one. Good chance for a drop here on hole two. In fact, in tough brackets, it is a must hole in one because we've got a lovely funnel from the top right. Playing with the Guardian and a Navigator ball and we're going with eight backspin and one right spin. Because different levels of the Guardian have different accuracies, you've got to focus on the second bounce. So pause the video, count the number of green squares to the right and above the pin. That is the best way of replicating this setup. Like I said, different ring references depending on what level guardian you have max plus 30 power two settings okay max plus 30 power two settings like i said the key here is once you've added spin get that second bounce in the right place on the green perfect ball away and subject to any necessary wind angle tweaks we bounce very nicely on the green the spin grabs beautifully and we catch that down slope which is going to get us in for a hole in one here on the second hole. Showing you an aggressive option here on hole number three, no move target with a power five ball. Then we're gonna add spin, six top spin, two left spin. So you will need a driver with six top spin here, otherwise you may have to improvise slightly. So no move target, six top, two left, adjust max plus 10. And then here I'm gonna push up and I push up a total of 12 yards. If you have a slightly shorter driver, make sure you push up a little bit extra if your driver is shorter than the extra mile eight. Full overpower, half a ball of curl to the left, try and hit perfect here. This is a bit of a technical shot. You might need to tweak it depending on club level and wind angle, but you want two bounces on the fairway, third bounce in the rough and roll out. Drive distance of around 420 yards. Second shot, we're going to play true club distance, 5% elevation. So for every plus yard you are away from max, you are going to deduct 2% slider. Spin as shown and landing position as shown. Yellow ring touching the rough line. Ball guide uh, is going to the pin. So here it is true club distance, TC on the notepad. So find out the max distance of your club. 
Uh, and then obviously it is 2% slider per yard away. So you can use your plus yardage number to help here. Find the max and work out, depending on your club distance and what level you've got, of course, with the Grizzly, 2% um, slider per yard. And then we go um, make our adjustment, hit perfect, lands in the rough nicely and tracks beautifully for an albatross here on hole three for those fancying the aggressive option. Nasty wind angle here on hole four, but we've got an eagle nonetheless. Uh, we're going to go with a Titan, and we want four and a half bars topspin, and we're setting up here uh, with the extra mile level eight at the top of plus one. That will be at the top of plus three with the extra mile six and seven. Ball guide pointing down the middle of the fairway, once you've added your topspin, of course. And then we're going to adjust max plus ten. If you have a stronger wind here, or you want to make it a little bit easier, then you can go with a kingmaker. Extra mile six or seven in wind above uh, 6.5 around there will be adjusting into overpower, so you'd need to add that on. So in that case, I would recommend a kingmaker if you have higher wind with a Titan. Important to hit perfect here due to the narrow fairway. And perfect ball we manage, and going down the middle of that bottleneck area of fairway, drive distance is going to be around 330 yards. Second shot, we're going to perform a pin check. So move the bullseye directly over the pin. Plus four is the plus yards shown, and that is going to correspond to 50% slider. So there's exactly mid distance. So mid plus zero is the adjustment here. If you were at plus two for your pin check, it means you're closer to the hole. So I would play that one 46% slider. It is, of course, 2% per yard with the thorn. And then we're having a no-spin shot ball guide to the back of the cup, as shown there, because we've got headwind here. We don't want to come up short in line. So mid plus zero here for a pin check of plus four. Adjusting it over the bullseye, as I most usually do with the thorn. Important for you to do that as well. Otherwise, you will be, in effect, under-adjusting by 0 0.1. So making our adjustment, then all we need to do is get a perfect ball away. And we've got an excellent chance for an eagle here. There's the perfect bouncing before the green, then onto the green and rolling very nicely directly at the pin here on this par four. Hole five, tough to albatross here. We've got a safe eagle outside chance of a drop. We're playing a no move target shot with the extra mile and a katana. Two top spin, three left spin. So as soon as the hole loads, You've got your position already there. You don't need to move your target until it's time to adjust. And the adjustment is going to be max plus 10. Maximum distance, 10%. Elevation power, two settings here using a katana. Making our adjustment there. And then we're going to play our shot. And we're going with outer wall curl to the left. So left edge of the ball, touching the outside wall of the adjustment ring to the left. Try and hit perfect on this one. Bounces over the little stream and uh, rolls nicely into the middle of the fairway not going to be obscured by the trees don't worry about that drive distance is going to be around 330 yards then we're going to now get it to green with the big dog for the distance going with uh, two bars of right spin and around a bar and a half of top spin depends where you are though on your drive but i think bar and a half is going to be fine in pretty much all cases look at the second bounce having it just beyond that little red signpost on the right in the rough, and then not much ball guide to work with here, but aim at pin as best as you can. The priority here is to get onto green without hopefully catching a glitch roll, and there are some glitch rolls here, but you're still going to be putting at worst. Max plus uh, zero, sorry, max plus zero on this one. Uh, if you get lucky, you will drop this for an albatross. Very tough, though, with low-level clubs, and indeed, even with higher-level Distance wood clubs, not that much ball guide here in pro. Just getting a little bit short there and to the right, but very easy put there for the eagle on hole five. Now on this par three, we're going to start with a power five ball and find complete minimum distance with the red ring touching the bunker. So make sure you've got the grizzly in your bag. Then swap to a kingmaker. Then we are going to add spin. And in the end, I settle with... Um, 3.5 backspin and 1.4 left spin. Weird spin amounts here, but look at the ball guide. It will be pointing at the pin once you've added spin and you've obviously found that min line 
with your power five ball. Max plus 25, power three numbers, and I'm using sniper 10 numbers here. In fact, I'm using sniper 10 numbers for all of my adjustments here. So make sure you load sniper 10 into your wind app, even though you may be playing with a lower level sniper. So max plus 25, power three, making our adjustment. This is a tough hole. You will need some wind angle tweaks, but we've got a hole in one for a reference drop here. Tough par three to drop though, hole number six. Aggressive option now on hole number seven, going to go with the berserker and the extra mile. Add spin, we're going to go with uh, here four and a half top spin, two bars side spin to the left. It looks like I reduce, but I go back to four and a half after that, just finding the exact amount. Then imagine your second bounce in the middle of the bunkers. So I stretch out and I look at the blue arrows. Then we adjust max plus five. You see that little jetty may be in the way, it may not be, so be careful of that. So max plus five, in order to avoid the uh, jetty being in the way, I actually adjust over the bullseye. So that's a good tip for you to do the same. Then with extra mile eight, I'm pushing up two yards. If you've got extra mile six or seven, you'll need to push up four yards to compensate for lack of driver distance. Max over power, it is a slightly slower needle, so a good chance to hit perfect. No curl, and we bounce in the rough very nicely, and the top spin takes us out near to the fringe for a very simple wedge for the eagle. All right, tough hole here. We don't want to hit a great left, otherwise you may end up with an overpowered putt. We're going to go with a navigator, and we're starting by adding five bars of backspin. Then we find our position. There you'll see the first bounce towards the base of that first tree shadow, and the ball guide is aiming towards the left edge of the cup. So a couple of references there. We've also got the blue ring near the rough. Now you'll see just backing up a little bit. Then I'm going to add one bar of right spin, keeping the back spin the same. So five back, one right. You'll see the ball guide then points in the middle of that dark green square column. So a few steps to consider here. You don't have to do the first spin. You could just apply the one right spin with your backspin and go for the ball guide as it is. All depends how you feel with your shot clock. Mid plus five, power one settings. Trees may be in the way and you will need wind angle tweaks here. So take a token or two, get a feel for it. Important to hit perfect. As I said, great left here is always a danger rolling down a very nasty slope on this hole. You will end up with a max overpower putt. So be advised. If you're going to hit anything, hit a great right rather than a great left, but a perfect ball has a good chance of a drop here on hole eight. Finishing off with hole number nine, going to go with the extra mile and a Titan. Uh, four and a half top spin, two bars left spin, red ring touching the rough at the top of plus 14 with the extra mile level eight. That will be max with the extra mile level seven. Extra mile six will also be at max, but the ring placement will be slightly different. So instead, look at the ball guide. We're going to adjust this one max plus 10. If you have a little bit more headwind angle or a stronger wind, I would suggest you go to a kingmaker because a lower level extra mile is going to need some overpower and it's maybe not advisable really to be messing around with overpower when we've got a narrow fairway to aim at. So a kingmaker will work as well. Uh, we get a perfect ball. This fairway is a nice bowl shape, so it will keep the ball in play most of the time, but hefty great balls may well find the rough, particularly with extra mile. Drive distance around 375. Second shot, we're going to play landing position plus yards. Add spin first, and you'll see here I'm going with around 2.2 backspin. Then I'm finding my spot here, and um, you can use the blue ring as a reference, but it may vary depending on your drive. But instead, the best thing is to do is look at the ball guide. It is short of pin, by around a one and a half green squares. Pause the video, get a good look at it if you want. And then for plus three with sniper nine, that would be plus one with the sniper level 10. Uh, I'm adjusting this one 82% slider, 10% elevation, sniper 10 numbers again, power two settings. So a lot of information to get in there, a lot of information also on the notepad, but landing position plus yards, 10% elevation, Power 2 settings, Sniper 10 numbers, drops nicely there for the Albatross on this par 5. 
Thank you for watching this video about the Thanksgiving tournament here on the channel. Hope you found it useful. Please share with your clan mates and friends in the game. Finally, interact with me. Enjoy loads of other great content and discussion points with free guides and shop sharing and all manner of things on our free BK Golf Clash Facebook group. Over 11,000 members there of all levels. Loads of people that can help you out in the game. Come and ask me a question. Interact with everyone else as well. It's a lovely community. Looking forward to seeing you there. Good luck, everybody. Bye for now.